Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing the March 2022 coloring book and supply haul. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. So you're wondering, is that a big stack of books? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh, I counted and there are 18 books in this pile. As you guys know, I did a haul in January, early February, and I have since stopped shopping. I am not expecting any more coloring books as of right now. <laughs> Um, and the only one that's really on my radar for March is I believe uh, Kirby is coming out with a new coloring book at the end of March, but I didn't pre-order it. I want to see flip throughs because if it's more like the Fragile Worlds, then it's a pass for me. The artwork is beautiful. I just don't like um, realistic animals. But if it's more like uh, Mythomorphia or Worlds Within Worlds, then yeah, I definitely do tend to like those styles better. So let me actually start with the supplies since there's only two, and then I'll, I'll go through this <laughs> massive pile of coloring books. So the first supply that I purchase actually is just a repurchase. Um, I do have some of these uh, Sparkle Pop Pentel pens. These, as far as I'm aware, are the exact same thing as the Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallic. It's just uh, the barrel is different, and I don't believe the names are on these, but of the two, this was a little cheaper on Amazon, so I did purchase these. My Pentel Dual are starting to run out. I actually do have a set of these already and I'll move that to where the Pentel Duel is now and then this will be my backup set. Now for a cost comparison, I think I purchased these for like $12 or $13 and there's eight pens. I purchased this which is a hundred glitter gel pens and I think this was like $20. Now, are you going to get the glitter-tastic sparkle-liciousness that you get from a Sparkle Pop or Dual Metallic? No. But for the price, uh, these are actually really good. These also don't have names or numbers. Uh, kind of a uh, hobbyist that I am, I just pick something based on the barrel and hope for the best, but you could definitely swatch it out. That's just not something I'm ever going to do. But yeah, these and the Pentel Duel are beautifully glitter-tastic. But as an alternative, uh, you could certainly get something like this. I think it actually even comes in a smaller set, but I like this one because you do get a lot of pens. So that was the first purchase. This is actually something I had in my stash already. And then my second purchase was this right here uh, because it's in a plastic box. I don't know if there's a bad glare or not. Um, and I wanted to see if these would be a good dupe by way of how they work um, for my Neocolor 2s. Now the Neocolor 2s is a water soluble wax crayon. These are a gel crayon and I can tell you just having used this just once, uh, the feeling of it is absolutely different. However, what I'm more concerned with is how they work on a page and so I definitely need to do a little bit more testing. But they do come in this cool case. Unlike the Neocolor 2s, there is a plastic uh, barrel on this. And let me get one out. So that means this entire thing is not usable, but if it works similarly to a Neocolor 2, and again, I've tried it once and it does, then you don't actually need a lot. But I believe this 36 set was like, 15 or $20. My Neocolor 2s for the 30 count was $50. So if I can get some similar results with this, um, then I'm certainly going to do that. I don't need light fastness. I actually don't need expensive brands. I do like the colors in here, um, but uh, from that initial test that I did, where the Neocolors are definitely seeming to be a better product is in that 
the pigment that goes down on the page definitely seems to be more vibrant. However, um, I didn't really realize until I got these that they are two different formulas. So a gel crayon, I think this would be more like a Tim Holtz Distress Crayon versus the Neo Colors, which I think are more like the Lyra Aquas. Again, one's gel based, one's wax based. I don't know the difference between the two, but when I was putting this down on this little tin, which is comparable to the tin that the Neo Colors two in, because I do like to just kind of crayon it in and then add water and use that as my background. Um, I did get a lot less of a pigment and vibrancy, but again, for the cost, they definitely could be a good alternative. Certainly not a dupe, but a good alternative. And so these are the Super Crayons. Again, I picked this up from Amazon. The first book that I did pick up is this little pocket size Enchanted Faces. This has actually been around for quite some time, but I've seen it on Emma's channel like a million times. I've seen it on Pixie's channel. I think she'd recently got it. Tammy Colors 2 also have it. Any of the channels that I've mentioned, I will link in the description box below. And so I decided to get this. I actually already have a buddy color with Emma, Pixie, and Tammy. And so uh, I'm definitely enjoying this. It is a relatively quick color and because of the size of it, I mean, it's a little larger than the size of my hand. Um, I can get through it rather quickly, even if I'm paying attention to quite a bit of the detail. And it's got some various styles, some with animals, some with not. Uh, I think these might be just uh, zoomed in pictures of some of her other artwork, but it, it doesn't matter. I don't have much of her work to begin with, so it's fine. Uh, but this is Enchanted Faces. There's 50 pages in here, and none of them are duplicates. Now I did get this book from Amazon Japan, again, uh, because of the type of cover it is, there might be a glare. Uh, I had seen this originally on Sarah of Chronic Coloring Down Under, and I've been on the lookout for it, but because I bought another book, and it actually will be the last book that I'm going to show you, uh, I saw this in one of the recommended, and so I just decided to get it because uh, buying the three books made shipping a little bit more palatable to me. And so this is a dollhouse coloring book. The first few pages just shows you an example of the pages colored in. And I won't do a flip through in this video, but I will do a separate flip through for you guys. Um, but then it goes into the actual pages uncolored. And so you'll have the page here, and then you'll have a little synopsis of what this is. But it's a really cute coloring book. It's a really thin coloring book. So there's not a lot of pages, but the pages it does have, it's really sweet and quite detailed. So um, certainly worthwhile. And like I said, I've had it on my radar for a while, but because I was purchasing the other coloring book, I decided to add this to my basket. So this is the dollhouse and uh, this came from Amazon Japan. This one and the next three. I was inspired by Pixie of Pixie's Project. Uh, we've actually done a buddy color in all of the match stick mouse books that we have. Um, and she did a flip through of this. If you're interested, go ahead and check out her page or her channel because she has a flip through of all of these. But I did get Match Stick Mouse, a Christmas coloring book, and that is by Morgan O'Brien. Matchstick Mouse, an autumn coloring book. And again, all of the pages are like this, where it is centered with a circle. Uh, there are um, lots of white space tops and bottom, and it is single-sided. And so that's the autumn coloring book. And there's this one, Matchstick Mouse, a Halloween coloring book. Uh, and all of them are by Morgan O'Brien. I believe Pixie said that Morgan said that they were going to be doing a spring one, but I haven't seen that. But these are so cute. And because I do alcohol marker work in here, they are also a very quick color. Um, but they are just, they're really cute. No duplicates. So it's just, it's a really nice quick color for me. And I, I think the images are just really sweet. Now this one right here, I also was inspired by Pixie, same artist. Uh, this is called Welcome to the Village. And when she was doing the initial flip through of this, I didn't really get what this was about. Cause I mean, they're cute, circular images, lots of white space, tops and bottom. And then there was a page, cause by this page, I'm like, that looks familiar. And then it got to this page, I'm like, 
oh, this is about Animal Crossing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, there's a flip through on her channel. Definitely go and check it out. But if you are a fan of Animal Crossing like I am, then you definitely will need to have this. Uh, now, nothing in here says Animal Crossing. So it says, welcome to the village. But I mean, again, if you played the game, then, I mean, you know who this is. <laughs> but I think that's really cute. I have yet to do a page in here, but for Olga Rani's monthly prompt for March 2022 is share a smile. So I'm, I'm certainly going to be able to find something in here that fits that prompt. But this is Welcome to the Village, and that's a cozy coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. You've already seen this uh, coloring book on my channel because it was in my completed pages. This was inspired by Doodle Robot. I'd seen it on her channel and uh, I actually really like this coloring book. Actually, I need to look through here to see if I can find the current Olga prompt of Dragonfly uh, because I do really like this coloring book. It is square um, and it is single-sided for all intents and purposes since this is a repeating pattern uh, paper, but um, it was as illustrated by Angela Porter and I just think it's a really cool coloring book but it's be relaxed in color and that again is by Angela Porter I did also pick up this. This was inspired by Emma Colors 2020. Now I actually had heard about this before she did her flip through, but I was waiting on a flip through before I purchased it. I don't know why, although not everything that Josh does is something that I purchase, but this definitely, uh, as soon as I saw her flip through was one of them. And I like that they are all framed um, in some way, shape or fashion, some very, are anime style, some are more in the style that you normally see, Josh Lee. This paper seems a little different, not bad different, just a little different, but I think it's a, a quite a beautiful coloring book, and so it is Josh Lee's Flower Ladies, and I did pick this up in February. This I had seen on Danny's channel. It is Witches by Coco Wayo. I believe it is the only Coco Wayo coloring book that I have. I did pick this up from Amazon. And uh, witches are probably one of the few seasonal things I can color or this type of magical stuff that I can color all year round. I'm not huge into uh, Easter, fall, or Christmas, or Valentine's, or anything like that, but this kind of stuff, yeah, I really like this kind of stuff, and it does um, range the gamut from cutesy to a little of the occult, but again, uh, I think it's really cute. There's no doubles in here, which is good. I've already completed a page which is this right here. I do have feelings about that. If you're interested, you can check out my completed pages video. But yeah, it is a really pretty coloring book and it is on a subject matter that I like coloring. So there's that. And that's Witches by Coco Wayo. I was inspired for this one on Tammy Tammy Colors 2. Um, I'd seen this on her channel and I immediately had to get it. It does have the matte cover, but I've already gotten some smudges on it. So there's that. This one does have doubles. It does mark it for you and that's actually really cute. Uh, but I think this is a really cute coloring book. Um, RJ, RJ. Hampson also does like the architecture and the pirate, but this is the only one that really spoke to me. I like the look of the other ones, but there was just something about this one that I really liked. I do have a completed page in here, but I haven't shown her yet, so I won't show you guys. You'll see it in my March completed pages, but this is the Night Garden. Uh, Tammy does have a flip through of this, so if you're interested, go ahead and check out her channel, and that's Night Garden by R.J. Hampson actually seen this on one channel and that's Camille's channel. I will link her channel below and this is her collection of jars. There's 50 unique images to color. Uh, she does have this in both a white and a black background. I chose the black background. Um, it does have some curling on the edges here. It's not a problem for 
coloring. Um, I am trying to flatten it out, but again, it's, it's not that big of a deal. But I just like um, some of the images that I saw in here. Some of them I do want to use for Olga's prompt by Share a Smile. I will be looking through here to see if I can also find a dragonfly because that's the current weekly prompt. But yeah, it's just a really cute coloring book. It's just all these different scenes in various jars and glasses. But that is a collection of jars by Camille bell again definitely check out her channel uh, i will be doing a flip through of this although there is a flip through on her channel as well now this one uh i've only ever seen once and it was recently this was absolutely inspired by a cluttered life and uh she had the german version and the only difference between this version and that version is the title it is the dark side of fairy tales i will be doing a flip through of this um but it does lean more towards the more gory horror side versus cutesy um goth side so i won't be showing you any images in here because some of them are actually kind of disturbing uh, but i did pick up this i've yet to color in it uh, and this may not be the one one of the ones that i gravitate towards a lot but i do think some of the images in here are very striking in a kind of good horror gothic way <laughs> but yeah that's the dark side of fairy tales and this is illustrated by trixia hannah a ocampo now this is one of the other ones that I had purchased with that dollhouse book. This is uh, Fairy Tales of the World and the artist is Mook. I'm pretty sure I've seen this on someone's channel. It wasn't actually on my radar, but it was one of the recommended books, you know, at the bottom when you are on an Amazon site at all. And uh, I didn't know exactly what was in there, but I liked the cover and so I purchased it. And this one is really pretty. I will do a flip through of this as well because I certainly have some thoughts about this one uh, but this is fairy tales of the world purchased from Amazon Japan and the artist is Mook. Now the next few are uh, Coloring Heaven coloring books uh, for me if I order four books from their site uh, shipping is free and so that's what I've done and this is Mystic Art Mirrors Fairy Topia special and you guys have seen this all over the coloring book community here on YouTube. I've yet to color in one of these. I actually just recently got this. I was doing a price comparison between getting this coloring book or getting her coloring books from her website her etsy shop and with shipping uh, one of her books would have been like 40 40 dollars 45 dollars and i was able to get the four books from coloring heaven for 40 dollars and so even though um i would have liked to have some of hers because i believe her paper is much better than this although i've never had a problem with coloring heaven paper uh, i decided to go this route because it just makes it more manageable for me but this is coloring heaven's fairy topia special and that is by mystic art mirrors i did pick up this one the gothic compendium also by coloring heaven and this is a variety of different artists Mika Jelena, Hannah Lynn, and again, in the kind of style of coloring books that I can do all year round, this would be it. The sort of gothic, Halloween. I do prefer cutesy uh, gothic over like super scary gothic, but so long as it's not too, too gory, then I'm okay with it. Uh, but I did get this, a gothic compendium. I don't know what year this was released. It was just on their site, but um, I did like it. And so I got this one <laughs> sticking with that theme. This is Creatures of the Night Special by Coloring Heaven. This is the artwork by Sarah Richter. And so um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this one as well. There are, I'm sure, flip throughs of this. So if you're interested, just definitely check out the search function here on YouTube. But that was the third coloring book that I got from Coloring Heaven in that order. And the fourth coloring book I got in that order, again, because it would make shipping free, is this. Now, I purposely purchased this because I do have a hashtag going on all year called Coloring the Year of the Tiger. And it isn't just tiger pages, but it's anything having to do with astrology or the zodiac. And so I thought this would be a very easy one to come into and color um, 
hopefully on a monthly basis, although I've yet to color in it yet, um, so that I could actually fill in something for my own hashtag. But it's got three different artists, or maybe it's four. Yeah, because I think this one right here is the fourth one. But it's just, it's really cute. It's got a lot of variety. And I actually, I don't know that there's any pages, maybe with the exception of those little minis, just because they're kind of floating. But there aren't any pages or art styles in here that I do not like. So this is Zodiac Special by Coloring Heaven. And this is the final book. This is Aries Newest. Now I don't have full set syndrome usually, but Eerie is one of the ones that I do. The only thing I'm actually missing from her is her little postcard, and that's fine. I, if the next time I do an Amazon Japan order, I'll probably pick it up. I don't know why I didn't pick it up with this one, but of the coloring books, I have them all, and she is one of the very few ones. Uh, Eerie, Opal, and Zan Von Zed. If they do come out with more books, if at all possible, I will pick them up. This is World Legend Travels in the Land of Magic. I wrote that down here, but I don't know that's exactly what this is. I will put it up on the screen if it is much different from that. I had seen this on Jamie of Jamie Coloring Love and I immediately went to Amazon Japan and ordered it. Um, but then I'd also seen a flip through by Anne of Pretty Pages. Uh, I will be doing a flip through of this as well. Uh, just because I certainly have some thoughts about this. But uh, yeah, it's really cute. Anne and I actually uh, have a body color in here. And when I do the flip through, you'll be able to see how I've started it so far. But it is, as all of her coloring books, just absolutely spectacular. And that's actually the last coloring book in this coloring book haul. Now, some of you might be wondering where I'm going to put these. And to be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> um, some of them I will need to figure out because I am always uh, fighting with space and I have maxed out on them. My bookshelves are pretty much full at the moment once I put some of these back, um, but some of them are from work. So once I take those back to work, that should give me a little bit of wiggle room. But yeah, I, I, I certainly need to think of something else in regards to my space or just stop shopping. I don't I don't know which one of those battles I'm going to win, <laughs> but that's it for this video. Uh, I certainly would love to know if you had any favorites or if you have any of these coloring books that you've seen. And as always, aloha.